Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Node.js full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the previous episode, we did a quick introduction of Node.js. In today's episode, we will get started with the installation on the system. We will also make sure to see if you already have Node installed. Let's get started. This is a, going to be an extremely critical series because I'm covering more than 48 episodes, including all the concepts and basics of programming for you to make you a complete Node.js developer. This includes Node.js uh, concepts, all of this, the 11 episodes, plus Express.js, which covers another till 25. And then I'll cover Express.js with MongoDB, which is coming to 37. And last, I'll also cover with MySQL, which is around 48 episodes planned as of now. It's a big series that I'm planning. I'll need your support. Please do hit that like button to keep encouraging and motivating me. Thank you in advance. All right, so today, what are we going to do? Today, we are going to start with the Node.js installation. All right, if you are already a developer, if you already have uh, installed node earlier we would still do those checks but as a beginner let's say that you are a beginner you don't know where to go so you would go to node.js dot org oops that's spelling mistake node.js dot org okay so that's the website official website of node.js which is a cross-platform javascript runtime environment you will go to downloads and download the a package that is for your system okay now I am running Mac so it would download a PKG which is a package for me but if you download it on Windows machine it might download a exe file which you will double click and install okay I'm not going into the detail of that I will believe that you will be able to install this step but like I said I am here to help you become a master at node.js if you run into an issue please let me know in the comment section. I will get in touch with you and help you solve your problem. All right, so once you have downloaded the EXE or the package, just run the installer and it should do the setup for you. The next thing you would do is open the editor and the editor of my choice is Visual Studio Code, which you can download again. If you just type Visual Studio Code, you would see this application which is code.visualstudio.com it's a lightweight editor very powerful specially encouraged and I'm sure a lot of devs already use it uh, it's one of the best editors free editors out there which you can use so let's give it one quick second to see if it loads it should load okay there it is so you can download it for free it's showing me Mac because I am on Mac but if you're on Windows it would still bring you that editor off with exe Okay, it has IntelliSense, Runtime Debug, built-in Git, and lots of extensions. Okay, so this is how the editor would look when you open it. Now, the next thing we'll do, create a folder and say Node.js Tutorial. That's my folder, and I will navigate into that particular folder. Node.js Tutorial, that's it. So, what we have done, we have installed the Node.js, we have installed the editor, and we created a folder. But now we need to verify that our installation is was successful, right? So the two commands that you would run, this is nothing but a command prompt, or you can open a terminal if you would like, okay? So either a terminal or a command prompt accordingly. Now you would type node-v, which means it will tell you which version of Node.js you're running. So here it is showing version 20.3.0. Okay, major, minor. Okay, that's the release numbers. Similarly, you will type npm hyphen v. It will show you the npm package manager version 9.6.7. Now, your versions may be, may be different than mine. So don't worry, as long as you are above 16, it should be good, okay? Make sure that you see this output, which is the version numbers. That's how you know that node is installed successfully. All right. Okay. So the next thing we will do is, let's say if you already have some node.js and you want to update it, right? The NPM. 
so you can run this command npm install hyphen g npm what this would do is install the npm globally but if you're not sure you don't want to do it you can skip step number four all right now the last thing we'll do is write a simple code and we will run it okay so for that open the editor or go to your folder that we just created and I'm going to call it app.js all right now in this what we will do is a simple console dot log and I'll say hello from arc tutorials all right and save it that that's just a console log nothing else and come back to the command prompt which is an inbuilt one you can open here you can open the terminals right from here you don't have to go to terminal every time you can click on this or you can use this option to toggle right which is in Mac it is command tilde so you can open that as well now all you will do is write node followed by app.js which is our file name and run it and you should see this output in the console log if you see this output that means you are good to start coding in node and in JavaScript and become an expert both at the back end using node.js I hope it's clear so far please do let me know if you run into any issues any uh, if you encounter anything I'll be more than happy to help you debug to help you master it my goal is that you become a node.js developer and I will try my best to do that if you like my tutorials please do hit that like button for me please do let me know in the comments what you want me to cover what you don't want me to cover how am I doing your feedback and much more also if you like my work and tutorials please do consider buying YouTube super thanks for me thank you I'll see you in the next episode next episode I am focusing on the basics of programming I know a lot of you are coming from programming background but there are a lot of concepts which you should know before becoming a Node.js developer. There are a lot of important stuff like async, await, promises, event-driven, callbacks, and much more, which I will cover in the next episode. I hope you are enjoying this series. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.